PCI Media Center, Vancouver, BC. Welcome back to the new PCI Daily News Roundup brought to you by Philippine Canadian Inquirer, the only Filipino Canadian newspaper distributed across Canada. I'm Manny Noelabuel. Thank you for joining us. We're back in Vancouver. We have the latest news development in the news. Bus kills 15 in Tanay. A tourist bus carrying 62 passengers, mostly college students, on a field trip hit an electrical post in Tanay Rizal on Monday. Ten were killed on the spot, another four are receiving treatment. Today, the death toll rises to 15 after an 18-year-old female victim died in the Amang Rodriguez Hospital on Tuesday morning. The bus was one of the nine buses of Panda Coach Tourist and Transpo Incorporated, rented by the Best Link College of the Philippines for a camping trip in a resort in Tanay. According to one of the passengers, the driver apparently cruising on a full speed has said that moments before the accident, he noticed a foul smell of what appeared to be a burning tire. The bus representative assured assistance to the victims and their families while Chad suspends field trips following the accident. Retired cop SPO3 Arthur Lascanias confirms DDS. Retired cop SPO3 Arthur Lascanias confirmed the existence of the Davao Death Squad and that President Rodrigo Duterte ordered the killings when the president was the city's chief executive and offered payments per execution. In his statement, Lascanias said that he was paid 20,000 pesos up to 100,000 per kill depending on the status of the target. Las Cañas previously denied the existence of the Davao Death Squad and that he discredited Edgar Matabato in a Senate hearing where he confessed the existence of the DDS last year. The retired cop also discussed how the Death Squad started and claimed that it was Duterte who was in charge of picking the targets. He also confessed being involved in bombing a mosque in 1993. Meanwhile, the palace is holding a press conference denying the allegations made by Las Cañas, while Senator Laila de Lima calls for the cabinet to declare Duterte unfit for the position. Duterte deploys 53 rogue cops to Basilan. Out of the 311 cops listed for disciplinary action by the president and the Philippine National Police, only 53 cops showed up at Camp Bagong Diwa and Taguig City on Tuesday morning. The 53 will be deployed to Basilan as mentioned by the President, while the remaining 258 who ignored the order will be charged with gross neglect of duty. It was mentioned by the PNP Chief Ronald Bato de la Rosa that the cops will be assigned in Basilan for two years as punishment for their bad behavior and illegal practices. The airing cops headed to Villamore Air Base in Pasay City around 5 in the morning and boarded a C-130 cargo plane to Zamboanga City. General and Eduardo Año, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, clarified the deployment of the cops will not be limited to Basilan but also in other priority areas. He said, quote, their main job is to take care of the town centers, urban centers, so that the AFP will concentrate on the hinterlands. And that's the Roundup News right this minute. We hope to see you again tomorrow. I'm Manny Noelabuel. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you then. Goodbye.